Hi everyone, this is instructor Lauren Liebler and I would like to take a moment to explain to you the NKBA dimensioning standards. Now it's necessary that we follow these dimensioning standards on all of our floor plans, whether they have been drafted by hand or by the computer. So to start, we are looking at a sample of this kitchen floor plan. And we're gonna take a look at this wall right here. So the first thing you'll notice is that there are three dimension strings. There's one, two, and three. And these I'll refer to as the outermost being this one, the innermost, and then the middle dimension string. Starting with the outermost dimension string, this dimension string is for the overall length of the wall. So it goes from the inside face on one side all the way over to the inside face on the other side. That is the sole purpose for this outer dimension string. And again, you will always be using this third outermost dimension string for the overall length of the wall. Something else that's important to note is that on kitchen and bath drawings, we always use inches. We never use feet and inches. So you will see that all of the dimensions that are noted are always in inches. As we move closer to the wall, you'll see that this middle dimension string is being used for center lines. That's what, you'll see this little CL right here? That's what it stands for, center line. And in kitchen and bath drawings, we dimension to the center line of appliances, of fixtures, so that might be the sink, the bathtub, the shower, the toilet. Uh, so here you can see this center line is to the center of the dishwasher. So we go from the inside face to the center of the dishwasher, and then we jump to the center of the sink then we jump to the center of the microwave, and then again to the inside face of the wall. It's also important to note that these dimension strings are always complete. So you would always go from one end all the way to the other end. You never stop halfway. So even if you have the center line to the microwave, center line to the sink, and then center line to the dishwasher, you still need to include this last dimension there. And again, they're always noted in inches, and you include this CL that stands for center line so that it's very clear what you're dimensioning to. You'll also see that the line that goes from the middle dimension string to the fixture or appliance is not a solid line. This line helps to indicate where the center line is, what this measurement goes to, what fixture. And this line is a long, short dash. So we'll have long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. And that is just, again, to help signify the center line. Um, it depends what software you're using, what that line might be referred to. Sometimes it's referred to phantom. Um, if you're hand drafting, just remember that when you're drafting, you want to do long, short dash. And again, that is for the center line to show what this dimension is for. If you don't have that line, it can be a little bit confusing as to what that center line might be for, and it's a lot harder to read. Lastly, we move to the innermost dimension string, and this one dimensions any openings in the wall. So this would include windows, doors, anything like that. And you'll see what's a little bit different with kitchen and bath drawings is that we measure to the outside of the window trim. This is important because the cabinets, particularly the wall cabinets or base cabinets if it's door trim, need to fit within the space from the inside face of the wall to the outside face of the trim. So whenever you're measuring window openings or door openings, make sure that you measure to the outside of the window or door trim. So again, this innermost dimension string is for openings, so we go from inside face to outside of trim, to the other outside of trim, to the inside face. And as always, uh, measurements are denoted in inches. Now going over to this wall, again, we'll see one, two, 
three dimension strings. The outermost dimension string is for the overall length of the wall from inside face all the way over to inside face, noted in inches. The middle dimension string is for center line dimensions. And remember, again, we're dimensioning the center line to appliances and fixtures. Here we have the refrigerator. So we're going from inside face to the center of the refrigerator. And again, note the long dash short line. And then again, to finish the dimension all the way over to the inside face. Finally, the inner dimension string dimensions any wall openings. So again, inside face, and remember, you go to the exterior of the door trim, and then to the other side, exterior of the trim, and then all the way over to the inside face of the wall. I really hope this helps to clear up some of your uh, confusion regarding NKBA um, dimensioning. It is a bit complex, but once you get the hang of it, you'll find it's, um, it's pretty simple and um, easy to work with.